last week of the Pulse. Inside the 10, Kellen sniffing the end zone, touchdown Aggies! Touchdown Kellen Mond from 12 yards out. Couple of steps back, over the middle, touchdown Aggies, Javon Osmond! So Fish, I always talk about, you know, don't just wait to play, prepare to play. I'm happy with the way he's leading our group, happy with the way he's playing. I think the sky is still the limit for him as he continues to grow and progress throughout the year. You make smart plays, you make the ordinary play. You do it better than anybody else. Believe in what you do. Have passion for what you do. And when you embrace the grind, the grind will reward you. Yes, sir. You got to turn up, man. Play Texas A&M football. What we believe and what we live every day. Family on three, one, two, three. Man. How we doing? Uh, I'll just start by saying how much I love this place. When you get here, there's just this authenticity. There's a, a genuine feeling of authenticity. And again, everybody's so nice, the whole howdy thing. And I feel like this place uh, has gotten to the point where it's one of those places that embodies what the SEC is. If A&M gets momentum early and they can confuse Knicks on a couple plays, then that could be huge because He's not seen an environment like this before. Yeah, okay, he, he beat Oregon. They beat Oregon, but that was in Dallas. This ain't Dallas. A great game doesn't mean you have a lot of sacks. Um, it's more about disrupting and, uh, and frustrating the offense from really what they want to do. And um, I, I think both the lines will be another key in this game. I love Matt BK. He had a really good game against Clemson. Sometimes for D linemen, it's weird because you don't have the stat sheet and it's not sacks. It's how much you affect the game. I think I watched him have six pressures against Clemson. And obviously it was a loss, so people didn't talk about it. Um, I, I'm just, I, I'm enamored with Matt BK and his ability and his talent. I think he's going to be a special player. <laughs> I think they are up for the challenge. I mean, they're big, they're physical, um, so we'll see how that how that approach is uh, taken on by Auburn's defensive line, who is big and physical as well. Physical. It's the word most often thrown around when describing play in the SEC. Relentless isn't a bad one either. This league keeps coming at you. Uh, it's most definitely physical. Everything about it is, is awesome. The players, you know, bigger, faster, stronger. You know, it's, it's, it kind of simulates the NFL the most. So I think that it's hard and tough to win. And so it, every win counts. And, you know, I just love playing them. It's definitely very physical, but I love the SEC. Receivers, they do a lot of pushing and tugging. And, you know, we have to fight back too to keep our position on the receiver. So I would definitely say it's a very physical game in all positions. You have to be really physical. You know, every D-line you're going to face is going to be just as good as the next, and every week's going to be just as hard. When you're an SEC play, everybody knows that this is the best of the best, like the best confidence you're going to face, the best guys you're going to face. and there to give it all and if you don't bring it in practice you can't carry it with you into game day our d-line will probably be one of the best we'll see it you know going against them every day first of all we were joking about yesterday that they know all of our plays and all of our calls so now all the advantage we had on them every day they have on us so now it's we're really getting tested out there every time we go against them because they know exactly what we're doing and so that's making us even better. Going to get some on practice, oh, it's tough. It's definitely tough. They're one of the best in the country. Um, but we make each other better, so that's a good thing. So when I do two hands and I'm a right tackle, she's like, right, left. Go follow what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to do in the game, right? Right, left. Right, left. Go follow me? Yeah. All right, here we go. Hurry up, last one, hurry up. Hands, hands, second shot. Go on, go on. The Aggies defensive line stacks up against anyone, such as Auburn's. 
Much like A&M, the Tigers possess sheer strength up front. They're good. Yeah, they're good. They're just like every other SCD lineman. Yeah, they're strong. They're fast. They're they're big. Yeah, they they want to. They're going to give you good competition. You know, we're going to give them our best. They're going to give them. They're going to give us their best. So it's going to be a good game. Well, I got started playing College Station, Texas, a place called the Tech. Yeah. So I love this place. I got some marine blood going through me. That's the color of my first car. A big game brings all kinds of atmosphere to Aggieland. While it can turn into a weekend party for the 12th man, it's nothing but business within this team. And when it gets to this point of the schedule, you know it's, it's go time because it's, it's, it's not that you weren't already prepared because you prepare the same way, and that's what's preached um, from top to bottom. We've been approaching every week like the conference started the first game, and that's, that's what's been big for us. You know, we have to approach every game like it's a big game. Coach Rich, I always say, you don't think every game will be a big game, lose one and find out. This is what the SEC is about. This is what coming to Texas A&M, coming to the SEC school is about. It's just these games right here, this is the one you work hard for. I think fans are a little more excited about playing an SEC team than sometimes maybe like the Lamars. And they're going to be riled up, it's going to be loud. And 2.30 with Auburn, that's going to be a fun game too, you know. It's going to be hot, it's going to be loud, there's going to be a lot of energy there. I love our fans, they get real loud sometimes. We can't even hear each other. We gotta do hand signals. Just that energy, you definitely feel the shift in, in conference play. It brings more attention out, uh, and it just makes you want to go out there and do it even more if you, if you even needed that. But the crowd, the energy is just it's very exciting. And it's like all the eyes are on you, and it's your time to make the plays, and that you gotta make. But when it's midnight on game day, that 12th man even makes time for final preparation. Midnight yell practice. University in the nation. Thanks, Giggum. God bless and beat the hell out of Auburn. A football Saturday in Aggieland awakens the senses, and it's easy to feel the magnitude of this one. It's time for the big one right here at Kyle Field. Today, the reason we're all in College Station, number 17, Texas A&M, hosting number eight, Auburn. This one is huge. Who you got? this Auburn team. I think this Bo Nix kid has a chance to be a star one day, but I think the 12th man get it done in a close one. I think a and wins. 12th man, 12th man. Sir, who wins? Man, facing you guys, I hate to pick Auburn. <laughs> oh, no. But I'm not going to. Aggies are going to win. Okay. We got Texas a and The Pulse Texas A&M football is brought to you by Gritty. It's a whole new way to buy power. And Pepsi, the official soft drink of Texas A&M football. Kickoff is getting closer. Anticipation rises like the smoke from a tailgater's grill. 
SEC play is here. Take a look around, man. Look around. This hole. This hole. Go. And we protect this place. We protect this place with everything we got. Everything we got, all that work, all that sweat, all that pain. It comes out today, man. Yes, it comes out today. Yes. What we talk about all week. Make your mind up today, today. Make your mind up. Ain't nothing else happening but what you want to happen. Good things are going to happen, bad things are going to happen. You make your mind up who you want to be, how you want to be it, and the way you want to do it. No one can control anything but you. You control everything that happens. Be who you are. Doesn't take anything special today, guys. It takes who you are. There's a hell of a football team in this room. I'm telling you, there's a hell of a football team in this room. And the only thing you got to do is trust your eyes, process the information, and react and play your ass off. That's it. In this league, most try to go right through you. But Auburn hits first by going right around the Aggies. On a second and three for the 43. Reverse, left side. A lot of room on that left side for Auburn. Into Aggie territory, out racing the Aggies. Up the left sideline and all the way into the end zone for Auburn. That is a 57-yard run for Anthony Schwartz. And Auburn strikes first. AM swings away, trying to punch back, but they miss their mark. Kellett, pistol, in the pocket, over the middle, completes for the first down to the 37-yard line, Jamon Osmond. They converted their last first down. Can they convert again? Kellett, over the middle, yes they can, into Auburn territory, that is completes to the 48-yard line, 12-yard gain to Jalen Weidemeyer. Kellen fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, looks back to his left, fires down the left side, he's got Kabuti over through him. Third and six from the Auburn 31-yard line. Snap to Kellen, fakes the handoff. He's got to get rid of it, does right side for Q, and he reaches back, it was behind him, incomplete. The coverage by Roger McCreary. So it will be placed just in front of the 49, the 39. Small's kick is wide to the left, no good. It is Gatewood again, and he's a running quarterback. Rolls to his left, now will throw wide open, touchdown. Slipping is John Samuel Schenker, and Auburn leads 13-0 on the six-yard touchdown pass from Joey Gatewood. Auburn's got a two-score lead. It's time to get moving. First and 10 from their own 37 on the right hash. Snap to Kellen, fakes to Isaiah. Looking over the middle, firing for Osmond. What a catch! Inside the 25, he had an Auburn defender draped on him, and Oz made the reception. That is the end of the first quarter. I got to tell you, this is a terrific throw and a terrific catch. He laid it in there, did Kellen on the go route. Defender all over. Osborne and he pulls it in. Wow, what a play. Second and nine with Cavoti to the right of Mon. Looking right, little flip, knocked in the air. Did Cavoti catch it? He did inside the 20, a catch to about the 17 yard line. It hit him in the left shoulder. He was surprised, stayed with it. This kick by Seth Small is good, and the Aggies are on the board. 12.59 to play here in quarter number two. Auburn 14, Texas A&M three. Defenses in the SEC can take over games. Both the Aggies and Tigers start to do so. Bo Nix looking left. Pressure, he's gonna go down! The sack by Justin Matapike! Good job, guys. good job. Good job with y'all keys, man. That's all it is. On a third and six, it is a handoff. Whitlow caught in the backfield at the five yard line. 15 seconds left, and the Aggies call timeout. Late in the first half, the Aggies are on a path toward points until they veer just left. Connor Choate the snap, Braden Mann the hold, and Seth Small is the kicker. The 52-yard attempt. Is it going to get there? No. Wide to the left. Two minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They ain't going to give you nothing. You got to go take it. In your stadium. Our ball coming out. Get a return or a fair catch it right here if it's deep. 
there's any chance, don't bring it out. We'll go get a drive, get points right back in the game, put pressure on them. Yep. It's our house, man. Oh, come on. Let's go make plays. Come on. Let's go make plays. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Keep playing. You're two plays out. You're two plays out. Love everybody here now, okay? Let's go play right here. Come on. Go. Let's, go. Let's, go. Let's, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Boom. High kick that will land in the Aggies end zone, the north end zone. They'll get it first and ten from the 25-yard line. First play is a run on that left side. Around that left end, across the 35. They said We said they ran for 12 yards and then fumbled at the very end. Auburn football. Spiller fumbled it. It is picked up by Auburn. And after the 13-yard gain, the fumble gives it to the Tigers. Bo Nix, keep, quick toss, left side. Complete, J.J. Wilson to the 31-yard line. Single back behind Bo Nix and Whitlow up the middle. First down and more to the 20 yard line. Now trips right as Nix takes the shotgun snap. Looking right, firing right. A sidearm sling is caught and Schwartz with the catch before he is spun out of bounds. Second and goal from the nine for Auburn. The snap to Nix. He's going to fire to the left on a slant to Williams, covered by Miles Jones. Touchdown. Yeah, it's just a quick slant off the left side. Miles Jones was there, but he got it in there before Miles could get it out. Encouragement at halftime erodes quickly in the third quarter. The Aggies are down again, but they get off the mat and even start to find their stride. Kellen in the pistol. Takes a snap on a slant right side. That is complete. Looking left. Q with the catch to the 35 yard line. 12 yard gain and a first down for the Aggies. Kelly throws right side. Cutting inside is Osmond. The catch up ahead to the 32 yard line. 13 yard gain. To the fourth quarter we go. Aggies driving. Kellen takes the snap, couple of steps back, looking downfield, firing. He's got Q. Caught inside the pad, slips and tackle, touchdown, Aggies, 27 yards. Mond, there goes Davis for a touchdown. Good protection by the offensive line. Plenty of time for Kellen to locate Q on that corner route. A&M gets some momentum, but Auburn has an answer. Takes it right back. On a third and five from the Aggie 37 on the left hash. 21-10 Auburn, 11-20 to play. Nix looking right, now over the middle, complete to Williams. Has the first down to the 30 before he's tackled by Devion Renfro. First and 10 from the Aggie 30-yard line on the left hash. Nix, toss, left side, Whitlow, five, seven, nine yards. Buddy Johnson on that tackle. First and goal from the 8-yard line. Give to Whitlow, up the middle, inside the 5, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn, the 8-yard touchdown run for Booby Whitlow. Almost exclusively all running, just one pass on that drive, 62 yards on the ground. Very impressive answer to the Aggie score. Three trips into the red zone for the Tigers, all resulting in touchdowns. The Aggies have no quit. They look to keep some pressure on the Tigers. Pressure coming, throws complete, 35 upended, 37 yard line. Kendrick Rogers, 18 yard gain to Kendrick. Out of the backfield, complete Cabote, 40, 45, cuts back inside the numbers, ahead to the 47-yard line. First and 10 from their own 47. He's going to run up the middle of the field, to the 40, to the 35-yard line, Kellen Mond, first down, Aggies. Snap to Kellen, slant, caught, Q, stays on his feet, inside the 25 to the 23-yard line, another first down. 2.15 left as Kellen fires over the middle, end zone, touchdown, Anaya Smith, touchdown, Aggies. 15 yard strike to Anias. A late score needs to come with a stop. When Auburn gains its final first down, time runs out on the end.
everybody? Ain't nobody doubt your heart, your toughness, how you play. And it hurts. Dag them right, it hurts. But here's what you got to understand right now. This is when you better understand what a team is about and what a family is about. You better stick together. Don't point no fingers. There's a lot of ball left. You have to play your butt off. You're going to get challenged. We're going to challenge you. I got to coach you better. Our coach has got to coach you better. But then you got to learn, respond, and do the things you got to do to play better. Life ain't easy. Being a great football team ain't easy. You're going to learn. This is going to be the foundation of what you build on and grow on to where we're going to go. We ain't going nowhere. We're going to line up, practice our ass off next week, and go play our ass off. That's what grown men do. Boys do what they want to do. Men do what they got to do. We got to get better. We got to stick together. We got to grow up, do the things we got to do. But stay together and believe in each other. Come here, family on three. Family on three. One, two, three. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is brought to you by Gritty. It's a whole new way to buy power. And Pepsi, the official soft drink of Texas A&M football. Whenever you're ready. Come in here and played very well early. Uh, got the tempo of the game. The first drives of the game played very well. And uh, got good momentum in the football game. Had a very good football team. Uh, I thought our kids played hard. I did not think, you know, we didn't play as well as we wanted to. But our kids battled. We played. We competed in the game. Uh, we had some opportunities in the game on offense, on defense, and in special teams to make some plays. And we just, we were three or four or five plays short. And that's what it comes down to when you play really good teams. Uh, we have to play better. And that all starts with me. And that all starts with me as a coach, to coach them better, put them in a better position to do those things. And that's a responsibility that's on me. I'll get them right. They're playing hard. we got to get them to play a little better in critical moments and make some critical plays. And to look at ourselves in all three phases, and, I, and we do as a coach, make sure we're coaching the right things, doing the right things, putting these kids in the right position and, and doing that. And that starts with us and, and my staff, and, and, that, and that goes on me. So we'll get better, heal up, get ready to go play. And uh, like I say there's a lot of football left. You can't feel sorry for yourself. Make the mistakes on this. Move on. Get ready to play Arkansas and hopefully get better here and then get on off week and get better and go play. If we don't have a bad football team, we just got to play better, and i got to get them to play better, and that's my job. Accountability. It counts for something now. It's not from effort. We've got to execute in certain things and find the inches at the right times and the right places in the game to, to make a difference. you just got to keep chopping saw and wood, and the guys will get it, and they'll understand it, and we got to do a better job coaching them. I mean, I'm not, hey, listen, we're responsible for them, putting them in those positions, getting them to understand them. We're going to be right there with them, and we're going, we're going to get better. There's nothing wrong with a little accountability amid adversity. You can find out a little more about who you are. I talk to them about staying together. I think that's the biggest thing, you know, with all this adversity going on right now, I think the biggest thing is seeing how well we come together in this time. You know, tough times, you should come together with your family instead of breaking off and with social media and all that stuff and all those news, you can, it's easy to get very uh, torn apart, but the biggest thing and what's going to help us is see how, how much can we come together in this time. Going into a new week with, you know, even greater energy. Um, more ambition to just go out and you know improve yourself and get better and fix the mistakes that you made on Saturday. Blocking out all the all the clutter and just the extra noise and everything like that that may come with the position we're in. Just block all that out and just focus on the next opponent. Um, you know that's behind us. After we watch watch our film and everything like that and do our little review, we're off we're off and uh, on Arkansas.